What's up everyone? Today we're going to be talking about how to record or stream mixed reality. Uh, I'm going to be using Beat Saber as the game that I played today for this demonstration. Uh, we just have to go over to the Steam store to download the Live app to get started. All right, you guys. So first we're going to go over to Steam. We're going to go to the Steam store. And in the Steam store, we can type LIV for Live. Search it. And it is this very top one, just LIV. Super easy. It's free as well. So you'll click on it. You can scroll, download it. And once you've got it downloaded, we're going to open up our Live app. And if you guys do need any further assistance, they do have a written guide you can click right here to get to. Um, and the streamer kit is something else that I talk about in a different video with exclamation mark bomb for Beat Saber. What we're going to be doing is clicking on launch compositor. So we'll just wait for that to open up, waiting for compositor. And it should start opening up all your VR things. Like I'm using a Rift, so my Oculus is getting started and my Steam VR is getting started. Okay, so we're inside the Live app and you guys can see me on my webcam that I've got set up. And as you can see just down here, there's a little bit of green. So this is the green screen that I'm using. Um, first thing that we're gonna have to do First thing to note in this is that it will only work for games that you've purchased through the Steam library. So if you're trying to do this with Beat Saber, but you purchased it through the Oculus Store, uh, the Live app won't work for you for your purposes. You're going to have to buy Beat Saber inside the Steam library for this to work. So you can select whatever game you're trying to use. Uh, and the next thing you have to do is set up your camera. Uh, mine's just called New Camera right now. If you want to make a new one, you're just going to click on the Add. And... Video camera, live. Yeah, we're gonna do video camera. They support connect, which is crazy. Uh, so I'm gonna pretend I chose video camera. Oh no, I'll just click it. And then you're gonna choose your device. So this is the one I'm using. Uh, and then choose your highest resolution that you have available. And there we are. So after that, we're gonna have to go to keying. So this is the thing that moves out the green screen. Uh, the color that it's selected right now is a little bit too green. My screen is a little bit bluer than what it's showing. So I'm gonna slide it down. I don't want it too much before it, so it starts taking my hat and everything out, but some of the things in the background are okay. And you can play with these settings too with the threshold and the smoothness. So this is like how much of the green it's gonna detect. Um, I'm probably good, right? Right around here because it looks like my hair is going to start to go if I go any further. Um, and then the crop and flip. So you guys can see in the video here, like we can see my desk and the door and everything out there, which is not ideal, obviously. So if you want to crop it, you can see now on the left side of the screen, the black bar is just sliding on in. Uh, this could work great for some of you, but if you notice, it does take away a lot, a lot of extra so now if I slide back over to here, you can see anything out of here is cutting off, but my hand is still in front of my green screen technically. So I'm gonna set this back to zero. And the good way to do this is you go into advanced and static mask enabled, and you're gonna just browse for a mask. So when you select your mask, the white section that is selected is where my green screen is and the black is all around it. So right now you guys can't see my head because from my camera's point of view, that would be on my desk. So this is my new play area here. And so I can stand up and while I'm playing the game, everything that like it sees me and it knows that I'm in front of the green screen right now. But when I go and put my hand on my desk, it's not gonna show you guys that because it knows that that's, uh, that part has been keyed out. Okay, we're gonna take a quick break in the video here. I'm gonna show you guys how to make the mask that I just selected. I'm gonna be doing it in Adobe Illustrator. Uh, if you guys don't have access to that, which is understandable, you can use Microsoft Paint. I'm sure that there's online ones that you can use as well. Just Google like free Adobe Illustrator or Photoshop like. It's similar to Photoshop. So if you have anything that's like a Photoshop type editor, you can do this and there's plenty that you can use on the internet. So I'll be doing it in Illustrator. Uh, the first thing you need to do for this is just take a screenshot of what your camera has seized. So my camera's set up here on the tripod and it's pointing over here at my green screen. So I'm gonna take a screenshot 
or just a video of it, record for a little bit, and then I'll just take a screenshot of the video. And that's what we're going to use in our, uh, in our photo editing software. So I'll catch you guys in Illustrator. Okay, so we're in Adobe Illustrator right now. And we see our photo is taking up the whole artboard. The first thing I'm going to do is with my pen tool, I'm just going to draw all the way around all four corners. Just like that. And I'm going to give it no color fill for now. And I'm going to make a new shape and this one, and this is the important part when you do this. So I'm making an outline of where my green screen is. When I do this, I don't want to make my outline like this because I want the inside of the shape that I draw to be my green screen. Okay. So right now you can see how there's little spaces in between. We actually want to do it opposite of this. Let's see. We want to make sure that there's excess green screen on the outside so that there's no fringing appearing while we play. So if we make this line right as close as we can to the edge, it's going to leave sort of like shadows and stuff, or it'll show like little pieces of the background, what's behind your green screen. Like if there's any slight movements of your camera or your screen. So this is just a super, super easy, very precautionary measure to take. And so now that we've got our new shape drawn out here with our green screen, this one is going to be the color white. And the outside, the outside shape that we drew, I'm going to make that one into the color black. Whoops, that's not black. There we go, into the color black. Okay, so now what we see here on the screen is the white section. This is all green screen and the black section, this is all the rest of the room. Okay, so we can go ahead and save that. And uh, this is the this is the file, the JPEG of this is what we're going to import as our mask. We're going to have to calibrate our camera. So we're going to click on calibration and begin calibration. Uh, I'm sure you could do this from your desktop, but we're just going to do it with uh, with our virtual reality headset for the video because it's a lot easier. It's really not that hard. So I will throw my headphones on here, my headset on here, find my controllers. Okay. And so inside this app here at the bottom, I can see begin calibration. I'm going to click on that and you see this red plus. So this part is a little scary for me because I don't want to punch my camera in the face. So I always take my headset off, go up to the camera real close and pull the trigger to activate it. Okay. Now you're going to back up all the way to your wall. I feel like I'm out of focus. There we go. Uh, and you have to press the trigger once to get the laser beam to come out. I don't know if you guys can see the laser beam or not. Uh, and then you're going to go up to the one triangle you see. And now we're going to do the other corner. So get your laser beam again by pressing the button. And we're going to go down oh, to here. Find the red corner, the red plus, and select it. Okay, so now you guys can see that the controllers, they're pretty close. Right in front of me, I see latency, FOV, position, and rotation. So I'm going to click on position. And whichever hand I'm using to scroll this wheel, the other hand is the one that's getting adjusted. So you can move it until it's just right in your hand. That looks pretty good to me now. And I'm going to activate this controller and we do the same thing with the other one. So this step is only necessary if uh, your calibration was less than perfect. And I've heard that the latency, you should go to like two milliseconds just to make your video a lot smoother. And once you're done, you can click on save. And now, remove the headset again. And now that we've finished our calibration, we can click save on this window as well. And we can go back to capture in the live app. Make sure you've got your game that you want to play selected. I'll be doing Beat Saber today. And then you click on sync and launch. So I'll make that small. Um, the screen that's going to pop up here, you guys, is going to be your in-game Beat Saber. So I'm holding my headset in my hands right now, and I can like look around and everything. So that's the screen that we're looking at there. What we want to do is press Alt-Tab, and then we're going to keep pressing Tab until we get to the one that says Live App Output. And we can release Tab. So if you're recording this or streaming this or whatever, 
you're going to want to be recording the live app output, not the actual Beat Saber game, OK? So we did our, we did all of our setting up and everything. Next is just go into the game. And as you guys can see, the whole game and everything for you guys, it's not moving. But for me, when I'm wearing my headset, everything is the exact same. From inside Beat Saber, if you're streaming this or recording it, what you're going to want to do is room adjust. And the rotation is super important. So if it's like this and everything is directly in front of you, while you're playing the game, all the notes are going to be blocked by your body. So you want to have a little bit of an offset so that your viewers can like see the notes that are coming at you and they can see you doing all the things you're doing with your hands. And that's how you set up Mixed Reality using the Live app. So if this video helped you guys at all, make sure you give me a like, subscribe, leave comments with any other videos you'd like to see in the future, and I'll catch you next time. The rest of this video is just me demonstrating the Mixed Reality. Feel free to watch it. If you're not interested, enjoy your setup. I'm going to play a quick game here, and I'll show you guys how, what it looks like. I'm the king of the swingers, oh. Man's red fire.